Ever wondered if you could seize a dwarven outpost and retain the trusty little guardians? Well, it's actually easier than you would think, and you can do it without a fight. Dwarven outposts are heavily guarded towers with dwarves wielding powerful weapons and magic. It is important to approach them cautiously, as destroying something in their house will anger them and they will attack you. But with a proper strategy, you can avoid all that. Before getting started, make sure you have 30 wood and 10 bronze nails on hand. Now, you will notice that if you want to build something around the tower, their ward will block you from doing that. So the aim is to destroy the ward first. As we cannot build near the tower, we have to move outside of the protected area and build a workbench there. Once it is done, you can build a cart. Now we're gonna pull the cart inside the tower. The plan is to destroy the ward by smacking the cart into it. However, the ward will take quite some damage before it breaks. The good thing is that the dwarves do not attack you until you destroy something. So you can lower the health of the ward by giving it a good few smacks with your weapon. Now be careful not to destroy it or hit a nearby dwarf. You can check the health of the ward by selecting the hammer and hovering over it. As you can see, this ward is already very low as we just had a yaw attack before I started recording, so I won't damage it much further. Now hook up the cart and repeatedly drive against the ward until it breaks down. And there you go, from now on you can build whatever you want in the tower. Now you can also destroy everything in here without angering the dwarves, so you can easily go and pick up the extractor and the crates of soft tissue. However, be careful that attacking any dwarf will still cause them to attack you, even if a friend would attack them, you know, if you play a certain roleplay. Also, be aware that other enemies will aggro on the dwarves if they see them, so that could cause also way more attacks on your base compared if you would be alone. Either way, this is a fun little project that really adds more life to your builds and I hope this guide gave you plenty of helpful information. If it did, then don't forget to show some love with the thumbs up. Until next time, bye for now.